Oh my gosh, guys, we're here at Southland Aquatics and I found a really cool fish that I've never seen before. All right, in this tank, there is this cool fish that I've never seen before. It reminds me of a pike. Is that a long gate body? But it has the cutest face. If you guys know what fish this is, let me know because it's super cool. Doing a cichlid shake. Showing us his boss. They're nice enough to put with discus. I'm doing a video here at the wholesalers, and I just wanted to show you what there's a few options here for you. You can see that there's a whole pile of tanks right behind me, and we're going to take a look at those. This place is a super cool place. They have everything labeled. If it's not there, it's not there. There are plenty of fish that are inside these tanks as well. You can see that they go through all around the store on both sides. And we have some people here that are shopping for the fish as well. What I like is their top tanks. It's actually not just a half tank, it's a full tank. I just love all the different types of cool fish that are available at wholesalers. This is a new fish for me, the clown goby. And I love gobies because they have this cool perching pattern of swimming. And you can see that here. They kind of like swim, stop, swim, stop, swim, stop, swim, stop. They have these like really cute patterning on them. They have like an ice eye pattern and then one on the door screen. Very interesting and unique. I really like these guys. The palm goby. these ones before, darter gobies. They're kind of interesting. They perch. They have like that goby swim action. They're so cute. They remind me of like penguins. Spotted pick this.
Gardener Achilles. Look at female. These are all the feeder guppies. aspect just yet, but once it grows into its color, it has a nice purple tail hue. And then, what I like is the silver tip tetras. These guys are actually pretty styling. I love the orange hue. They seem to be relatively friendly with each other. And I love the white tipping. And this would actually be an awesome candidate for an aquascape because of the coloration. I don't know their behavior just yet, but it couldn't be that much different than a neon tetra. I don't see them picking on each other that much at all. So that's the silver tip tetra. They seem to pretty, swim pretty unisonly. I, I kind of like that. That's actually pretty good. Good behavior, good response rate. Sailors look like where the glass is kind of not in the best conditions. But the tank still holds water. a speckling kind of leopardy look to them. They're from Colombia. This is part of the new shipment. So it has that blue sticker on it, which means that I can't get them. They just arrived today. But these are actually pretty cool. Let's see what else is pretty neat here. Blue Delta Guppies, big old Delta Tail. Oh, 
those, some small, medium, royal windows. I love these guys, these are so cool. This is a really neat Lego LD31. I can't really see it too well. Oh, there he goes. That guy is super neat. It's like almost a gold nugget, but it has like a speckle, almost like stars. And they're gold. So that's a pretty cool puzzle. And it's a decent size. So I don't know how big it grows. I'd have to do some more research, but this guy would be a really good candidate, I think, for a 55 gallon. Has that very cool coloration and pattern. Just one under the filter. I think it'd be super cool to actually like do a whole tank of just one color Daniel. I think that's a really cool idea because then they don't do as well of a shoaling pattern or schooling pattern when they're scared. But it still makes a really cool impact when you choose just one color of fish. Versus if it was mixed batch. Have you guys ever heard of a fish called the baby whale? This is my first one. Uh, looks like there's one right here under the tag, but it doesn't want to show its face. But there's some more right here, baby whale. And some more in the tank over yonder. But I've never seen a fish before, so it's quite interesting. You can get an aerial here. Quite fast. Quite fast for a whale, I'd say. Oh my gosh, the Subati! Look at him! This is the Subati puffer. Very cool. He comes from the Mekong. He is a predator. Super mean. Ambush predator. Oh, they call him the arrowhead because if you look at the head right here, there's like an arrow shape. Kind of, it's marking on the head of his brown hair. Look at that guy. I don't know if I've told you, but that cart is empty and. I gotta show you what's in my car. Look at all that wood! Woohoo! All that wood. And it's enough to be a person. <laughs> that means I probably have to, you know, put the seatbelt on so I don't get the ding ding ding. And then guess what? I have even more wood. And even more wood. It's just ridiculous how much wood I have back here. A passenger seat full of wood. A back seat full of wood, some fish, and 